the cockpit, the wings, the flaps, the slats, the tail, people in the belly of a whale that flies like a bird for generations taking advantage of modernization through computerization. GPS wireless enabled, reverse thrust and fuel economy through advancement of technology. Since the dawn of humanity, we have gazed up at the birds soaring through the sky, longing to experience the freedom of flight. It seemed an impossible dream for countless generations, yet through ingenuity and perseverance we unlocked the secrets of the skies. We took to the air, first in rudimentary gliders and then in powerful flying machines. Today, massive jumbo jets weighing hundreds of tons effortlessly take off and land every day, connecting distant corners of the globe. It is a testament to human ingenuity, a marvel of engineering. These incredible feats of aviation are possible due to a delicate dance of physics and engineering. Powerful engines generate immense thrust, propelling the aircraft forward. As the jumbo jet accelerates down the runway, the shape of its wings, specifically designed as airfoils, generates lift. This lift force counteracts the force of gravity, allowing the massive aircraft to overcome its weight and ascend into the sky. The sheer size and weight of a jumbo jet only amplify the wonder of this achievement. It is a symphony of power, precision, and scientific understanding. The roar of the engines, the feeling of being pressed back in your seat as the plane accelerates, the awe-inspiring moment when the wheels leave the ground, these are all testaments to the magic of flight. A jumbo jet taking flight is a carefully orchestrated ballet of power and precision. At the heart of this performance are the aircraft's engines, marvels of modern engineering. These engines generate an incredible amount of thrust, the force that propels the aircraft forward. Thrust is essential for overcoming inertia, the tendency of an object to resist changes in motion, and getting the massive jumbo jet moving down the runway. As the jumbo jet accelerates, it gains speed, a crucial factor in generating lift. This is where the ingenious design of the wings comes into play. The wings of a jumbo jet, like those of all aircraft, are shaped as airfoils. An airfoil is a specific shape that generates lift as it moves through the air. The shape of the airfoil, with its curved upper surface and flatter lower surface, causes the air flowing over the top of the wing to travel faster than the air flowing underneath it. This difference in airspeed creates a difference in air pressure. The faster moving air over the top of the wing creates lower pressure, while the slower moving air underneath creates higher pressure. This pressure difference generates lift, an upward force that counteracts the force of gravity pulling the aircraft down. As the jumbo jet continues to accelerate down the runway, the lift force increases. When the lift force exceeds the weight of the aircraft, the jumbo jet becomes airborne, gracefully lifting off the ground. This delicate balance of thrust and lift, governed by the laws of physics, allows these massive machines to defy gravity and soar through the sky. While the takeoff of a jumbo jet is a display of power and acceleration, landing is a carefully controlled descent, a gradual return from the sky to the earth. The process begins with the pilots adjusting the aircraft's configuration to increase drag and decrease lift, the two aerodynamic forces that were crucial during takeoff. Drag is the force that opposes an object's motion through the air. To increase drag during landing, the pilots extend flaps on the trailing edge of the wings and slats on the leading edge. These extensions increase the surface area of the wings, creating more drag and slowing the aircraft down. Simultaneously, the pilots reduce the engine power, further decreasing the aircraft's speed. As the jumbo jet descends and slows down, the pilots carefully adjust the angle of attack, the angle between the wing and the oncoming airflow. By decreasing the angle of attack, the pilots reduce the amount of lift generated by the wings. This controlled reduction in lift allows the aircraft to descend gradually without stalling. The final moments of landing involve a delicate balance of lift, drag, and thrust. The pilots aim for a smooth touchdown, gently bringing the aircraft's wheels in contact with the runway. Once the wheels are on the ground, the pilots apply brakes to further slow the aircraft down, bringing it to a complete stop. After a safe landing, a jumbo jet faces the task of slowing down from its landing speed to a complete stop. While the aircraft's brakes play a crucial role in this process, they are not the only force at work. Jumbo jets and many other large aircraft 
are equipped with a fascinating technology known as reverse thrust. This technology provides an additional braking force, significantly reducing the distance required to come to a complete stop. Reverse thrust, as its name suggests, involves reversing the direction of the engine's thrust. Instead of propelling the aircraft forward, reverse thrust directs the engine's exhaust gases forward, creating a force that opposes the aircraft's motion. This reverse thrust acts in conjunction with the wheel brakes, providing a powerful deceleration force. There are different methods for achieving reverse thrust depending on the type of engine used on the aircraft. Some aircraft use thrust reversers, mechanical devices that are deployed after landing. These thrust reversers redirect the engine's exhaust gases forward, creating the reverse thrust effect. Other aircraft achieve reverse thrust by changing the pitch of the propeller blades, causing them to generate thrust in the opposite direction. Regardless of the specific method used, the principle remains the same. Reverse the direction of the engine's thrust to create a braking force. This braking force is particularly effective at higher speeds, making it an invaluable tool for slowing down jumbo jets and other large aircraft after landing.